Salt has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for pest control. It's a readily available and inexpensive alternative to chemical pesticides. Salt has been found to be effective in controlling a wide range of pests, including slugs, snails, ants, and even some types of weeds. Salt works generally by dehydrating the pests, causing them to die. While salt is an effective pest control method, it's important to use it in moderation. Excessive use of salt can harm plants, the soil, and can lead to corrosion of property. Here are the best ways to use salt for pest control. 1. Ants There are several ways you can use salt to get rid of ants. One of the simplest is to just mix a few tablespoons of regular salt with a bit of boiling water. Allow the mixture to cool enough so that you can pour it into a spray hose bottle, then apply the mixture to the ant-infested areas of your house. You can also use salt for ants that are infesting your lawn outside. Just directly dump the salty, boiling water onto any anthills or mounds you find. The good news about this method is that it'll kill any ants that happen to be in the nest immediately. The bad news is that it probably won't kill all of them. That's because some ants have deep and complex underground tunnels. No matter how much boiling water and salt mixture you whip up and pour onto the mound, you're probably not going to be able to get to the entire colony. You never know, though, and its effectiveness all depends on the size of the ant nest. Plus, you'll get some, so it's worth a try. 2. Fleas A common natural remedy for controlling fleas is to spread table salt or sea salt that you might have in your cabinet. Salt naturally absorbs moisture, so when you sprinkle it on fleas, it dries out their bodies. This is because many pests, like fleas, take in oxygen through tiny tubes all over their bodies. When they breathe in salt through these tubes, it can kill them. To use this flea control method, it's best to use extra fine salt. You can make this at home by using an appliance like a blender or food processor to grind the salt into a powder. Once the salt's ready, put on a mask to avoid inhaling the salt dust. Then sprinkle the salt on upholstered furniture, rugs, carpeting, and other areas where the fleas might be hiding. Brush the salt into the fibers of the fabric and then let it rest. Be careful to avoid stepping or sitting on these treated areas during this time. After the salt is set for around 12 hours to 2 days, thoroughly vacuum the areas where you spread the salt. This will remove both the salt and any flea eggs or remains. Next, throw away your vacuum bag or thoroughly wash out the vacuum canister to help prevent the possibility of a reinfestation. 3. Lice A vinegar and salt solution can be used to get rid of lice. They both have desiccating properties which extract the moisture from the scalp. This helps prevent the maturation of eggs into adults. Acetic acid also halts the clinging of lice to hair, as it diminishes the natural adhesive which is essential for them to stick to the shaft. A salt and vinegar solution also prevents the hatching of lice. Take 3 tablespoons of salt and 5 tablespoons of vinegar and mix it in a bowl or spray bottle. You can spray or apply the solution on your scalp and hair, cover your head with a shower cap, and let it stay for at least a few hours. Rinse it off and apply conditioner on your hair so that it doesn't get dry. Do this for three days to get more effective results. 4. Ticks Regular table salt can kill tick larvae and eggs, dehydrating them until they fall apart. To kill ticks properly with table salt, you'll need enough salt to apply a thin layer on furniture, a medium layer on floors, and a thick layer on the carpet. In each room of your home, sprinkle salt on furniture, floors, carpets, and windowsills. Leave the salt on the furniture, windowsills, and floors for 8 to 10 hours and then vacuum. Allow it to remain on the carpets for a week before vacuuming. After vacuuming up the salt after it's sat for the recommended amount of time, remove the vacuum cleaner bag and place it in a sealed bag and place that bag in the garbage can. If you have a vacuum canister, give it a thorough wash. 5. Lizards Salt is a known substance that can be used as a pesticide to control reptiles, and lizards are no exception. Salt acts as a desiccant and dehydrates the bodies of lizards, leading to their deaths. However, using salt as a method to control lizards is not only inhumane, but also illegal in most places. Many studies have indicated the deadly consequences of using salt to kill lizards. 6. Maggots If you notice maggots in your garbage area or around your home despite your efforts to prevent them, use a large amount of salt to destroy them. 
Maggots thrive in warm, moist areas, so sprinkling salt on and around their space eliminates moisture and water, so they're unable to prosper. This method is excellent for eliminating maggots from a confined area, but it may not be as effective in an open space. 7. Termites Salt is considered to be a staunch enemy of termites. It kills the insects. To make a spray, combine salt and hot water to create a solution and spray it on a termite-infested area. The insects will die in one to two days. 8. Raccoons You can use Epsom salt to repel raccoons. Raccoons detest the scent of Epsom salt as it irritates their nasal cavities. You can use this to your advantage by spreading the Epsom salt throughout your yard in areas where you need to keep raccoons away and reapplying once the scent wears off or after heavy rain. 9. Silverfish If you have salt at home, specifically table salt, you can use it as a repellent for silverfish. The table salt can dehydrate the pest, which will lead to their death. But don't expect that the salt will take effect instantly, as several days are needed for it to work. If you see silverfish in your home, immediately sprinkle it in areas where they're hiding. Alternatively, you can also mix some Epsom salt with water and spray it in the cracks and around the corners of your home. 10. Beetles Epsom salt can be a safe organic way to deter beetles and other garden pests from harming your vegetable garden while simultaneously nourishing your plants. Salt kills them by dehydrating them. Pests with exoskeletons like beetles typically die when the coarse edges of salt grains scratch their exoskeleton. When their exoskeletons are scratched, they lose the ability to retain water. Salt, Epsom salt, diatomaceous earth, and even coarse sand can all have the same effect. A mixture of one cup of Epsom salt and five gallons or 19 liters of water may act as a deterrent to beetles and other garden pests. Mix the solution in a large bucket or other container and then apply the well-dissolved mixture to foliage with a sprayer. 11. Snails and Slugs You can use any type of salt on slugs and snails. Salt crystals bind moisture, and this makes it deadly to slugs and snails if sprinkled on them. Whenever you have a slug away from your plants, just take a pinch of salt and put it directly on the slug. The slug may start writhing around or making more slime, but that's normal. Within a few minutes, the slug will dehydrate completely and die. However, it should be noted this is extremely painful for the animals and horrible to watch. There are much more humane ways to kill slugs and snails. Even better, there are ways to deal with the pests without killing them, such as picking them up in a bucket and transporting them to a place in the open countryside. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to use baking soda to get rid of pests. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.